Hey yo, what's good, you beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video on the Jeeves channel, guys. Make sure if you're new around here, you do subscribe. I mean, I'm sorry to put that on you straight away five seconds into this video, but please, like 80% of people that no, actually, it's more 89% of people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed, bruh. Just kidding, I don't blame you, I wouldn't subscribe either. Guys, what is it about the current degenerate crypto season, man? Like, I've just seen a video of a guy live on kick exploiting his own mum to try and pump and dump a coin. What the hell is that all about? Basically, it was like, once this coin hits a certain price, she'll get her tits out. And it's his own mother sitting there. Called into what he said, that's his mum. But it's probably fake. Everything's fake on the internet, isn't it? The internet is just full of absolute wafflers. But yeah, man, the crypto world... I don't know, it's kind of crazy. It's a little bit fucking mad, I'll be honest. Anyways, ladies and gents, let me get on topic. And today I want to talk about Mr. Beast. Because I saw an old tweet from someone saying that Mr. Beast has ruined YouTube. I was kind of thinking to myself, how? But then I kind of get both angles, but ultimately I don't think Mr. Beast has ruined YouTube. Let's just make sure that doesn't get taken out of context because I don't want Mr. Beast fans hating on me because I'm not hating on him. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Realistically, I think Mr. Beast has done some amazing things for YouTube. I mean, the numbers he pulls on a video is insane. Like you're looking at like two, 300 million views per video. What? That is just an insane amount of people. Just think about it, man. Now, sadly, the tweet I saw was quite vague and they really gave no points to, as to why they thought Mr. Beast had ruined YouTube. But I think I've seen people throw it out there before saying that he flashes too much money. You know, it's all about the money, etc, etc. Lambos, blah, 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 whatever, man. Now, Mr. Beast channels kind of moved away from being a YouTube channel, if that makes sense. Although it's still on YouTube, he's basically a game show host now, isn't he? Him and his team. The videos he makes are game show-like, if not more entertaining than game shows, plus more money involved in game shows. Like, anyone who lives in the UK knows that the game shows over here, they pay, like, absolute crap. You can win, like, two or three thousand pounds. A normal Mr. Beast video, you're gonna win at least ten grand. At least ten grand. And half of the time, you don't even have to win to make money. You can just participate and he feels sorry for you and gives you money, and that's great, right? Now, we know YouTube's gone through an era of people flexing wealth and flexing cash, Lambos, Ferraris, whatever. That's just YouTube though, isn't it? That's just what people are seeing on the surface. Now, I think people that get upset the most are people that probably aren't overly happy in their own life. Once you grow out of that bubble and you understand most people on YouTube aren't living the best life, they're just showing five minutes of a good part of their day. It really opens your eyes to who's doing well in the world. The way I see it, guys, as long as you're happy with what you're doing, that is all that matters in life. You don't need to hate on other people. Just let them do what they got to do. But ultimately, I don't think Mr. Beast has ruined YouTube. If anything, I think he's done amazing things for us as creators on here. Opened up a wider audience, you know. Businesses are paying him millions to advertise on a Mr. Beast video. The shit is more valuable than any TV promotion. Like, he's definitely getting more eyes on him and people's brands than people are, like, through popular TV channels. And if you're a popular creator in the YouTube space, then that's good news for you because people are going to pay you as well. Now, I do kind of understand it's very difficult for smaller creators to compete with Mr. Beast. No one can compete unless you've got millions of pounds to build sets like he does. So stay in your own lane, do your own thing. And just don't hate on the boy. Just let him do what he's got to do. I think he's fucking great, to be honest. Like I was saying, guys, the best thing you can do is just do you. There's nothing absolutely wrong with that at all. But yeah, honestly, guys, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think because... Like I said, and like I'm going to summarise, I don't think the boy has ruined YouTube whatsoever. To be honest, guys, I'm not the biggest Mr. Beast fan, but I admire exactly what that guy does, man. Like, he has revolutionised like, revolutionized the YouTube game, which is great. And he's doing great things with his, uh, like, Beast Burger and his festivals. Good luck to him, man. Not that he needs my meaningless opinion, but yeah, good luck to you. <laughs> Look at me talking like Mr. Beast is even going to watch this video, yeah, you know? Well... One can only dream. Oh, no, my camera. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this video. I don't need this blasting in my ear at the moment. Good God. But yeah, I just thought I'd share my thoughts on it, guys. I read the tweet and I was just thinking, nah, he's the boy. He makes fantastic content. Let's just enjoy it for what it is, man. Like, we don't need to be haters. We can just enjoy things for what they are. We don't need to nitpick at every little thing in life, man. Let's just enjoy it. Like I said, but anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you very much.